guys, we're back, and I just want to let you guys know first, because I've been exposed by Sean O'Shea. He put a post about me, and, well, the truth is out. I've got bad grammar, or no, punctuation, or both. <laughs> and that's true. You won't find anybody that disagrees with that. And I know if one of my friends sends me a training video, the first thing I say is, can I see something in writing from these people? I need to check out their grammar. <laughs> and I want you to know, I don't, there are people that think that that's the most important thing. But on the internet, I'm going to tell you what attacking someone's grammar is. It's kind of a last resort shame me leg to stand on. If it was me, if it was me, I would say, oh boy, I got this bitch now. I'm going to expose the fact that the pager freaks it out. I'll run and get some of her videos and post them, and then everybody will see how right I am. He doesn't do that. He calls Doctra. It's almost like third grade. The fact that I had almost a year's worth of videos that said, we no longer use a recommend Doctra in caps wasn't a hint. <laughs> I had forgotten all about that. I called Ben yesterday at Doctra. He gets on the phone. He's very polite. You know, and they are from a different culture, and they... Can't handle me. Uh, and he goes, uh, I said, Ben, I said, you realize this? I should put a graphic language thing. I said, you realize this douchebag never sold a dog tray in his life, and he's absolutely awful. And this is what he says to me. Kelly, but your words were really harsh. <laughs> I said, harsh? I go, that was nothing, Ben. I said, have you ever watched Samantha B? Do you watch cable? I said, she's way more cunty than me. Dead silence on the other end of the line. <laughs> I said, you need to tell Alex that remember when I hated you guys and I thought that you were abusing dogs? Well, I'm back to that now. <laughs> and I am, I'm, I'm going to maybe even consider starting a petition to have this collar taken off the market. If you said, would you be happy if they took this? Yeah, I would be happy because I was furious when they put it on the market. Because that was back when I was still with them. And it was probably, I mean, its it's been 10 years ago now. I begged them. I said, don't put a constant on it at all. Do not put a constant on this collar. You're marketing it to dogs under 10 pounds, or under 20 pounds. You're going to tell me what we've got is offering these, you know, when I mean, people have small dogs, they're probably even you know, less likely to be a good handler. Uh... And so you're going to tell them to, hit, to use a methodology involving constant. I mean, they're not even on board with that. But then they made it where it was just inevitably, here's the pager button, very, very small at the bottom. Here's the constant button, very, very large and much more raised in the middle. If you actually look at it, it's more raised. So it doesn't matter. Your hand slips onto that and you ruin your dog. And if you said hitting them one time the wrong time with constant doesn't ruin them, well, I beg to differ. And if you said, well, this Sean O'Shea isn't hurting anybody, you're just a vicious person and you need to leave him alone. No, my take on it is the guy is hurting not only the dogs, but the young dog trainers. The second you say, don't use the pager, you've trapped these people in a very, very small bubble. Because if you said what these people are doing with constant, makes what you're doing with the pager look like first grade. Stop it. They're not. If you said, you know, this, what they've done with constant, they're doing the exact same thing from 20 years ago, except for they're not even doing it right. So, you know, they're trapping young dog trainers and apparently, according to what I'm being told, charging them thousands of dollars. Charging them thousands of dollars. And if you said to me, you're jealous because all of these people are better than you and have a better skill than you and anybody can pick up a, a, a collar and they do it every day and start hitting constant and there are no repercussions and the dogs are unbelievable. I'd say, show me, please show me where, you know, because I don't believe it, you know. And if he thinks that language was harsh, I can tell you, I can be a lot more cunty than that. When it comes to and I think people are more important than animals. Yes, I think it's terrible what they're doing to the dogs, but I'm at the point in my life, if this is how you're inspiring young dog trainers by, these people don't have any money. People always ask me, why don't you charge these interns? They don't have any money. Not, you know, to spend on something that's intangible. You know, if, if what you're supposed to do in life is give your gifts to people, these people are charging thousands of dollars, and this is a terrible gift. They're not even giving them a gift. They're selling them snake oil. 
They're selling them snake oil. Because if you said the pet market is what people like to see is they like to go online and they like to see dogs with prong collars and round remotes being shoved into the... That's, I don't think they do. I don't think they should. You know? And, the, you know, and that is a lot of the problem. You guys saw that video of Greg. This guy was giving... This is how I met Alice. I don't know if you're there, Alice, but that's how I met Alice. Greg was giving her training advice. When her dog didn't respond to 127 and had a terrible reaction and ran away, he said, go get two collars. That's the guy that told her to go get two collars and hit it with whatever 127 times two would be. And no, here's another secret you're going to uncover. I am terrible with math. <laughs> That's why I have an accountant. <laughs> That's why I have an accountant. Uh, so, you know, if it, this guy's only response to me is, I, I don't know, to me, I just, oh! Ah! Oh, shoe bottom. Or Crash is pulling my phone out of the wall. Um, if this guy's only response to me is called dog trap, I honestly find that very strange. You know, that I don't know what he thought, you know. I don't know why you wouldn't just say, I'm going to expose you for the fact you're doing nothing but freaking dogs out here, lady. I've got that in well documented. And all these people here will now be able to see what I'm talking about. So here you go, people. But he's not doing that. He calls dog truck. And I do. I, it did. It brought out. I used to. I used to hate them. I used to hate them for the IQ and the fact that they made the constant longer. I want you to know the standard protocol. And if Mike, if you're there, that guy Mike used to work with Tritronics. The, uh, the protocol on constant was eight seconds. And the saying that I used to say was eight seconds isn't a very long time unless you're a dog on constant or riding a bull. You know. And it's an eternity then. But these people decided to increase it to 12 seconds. The whole thing just got off kilter, really. So yeah, no, I don't mind, you know. And the fact that they thought that was harsh, I honestly don't remember what I said. Because I can't focus on fighting with this guy, but eh, he knows what I feel. He's, I think he got the message, you know. Uh, but, you know, if you said, well, he knows the most about, apparently he's trying to say that the trained retrieve doesn't have anything to do with aggression. Anybody that knows anything about aggression knows how to do a trained retrieve because they're probably involved in Schutzen and all these other things. So, you know, any, any professional trainer knows how to do a trained retrieve. I, you know, I'm sorry, they do. You know, and so if you don't know how to do that, but you're trying to say, well, I just focused myself. It's just general. Be if somebody said that to me, I would just say, screw you, lady. And I would go out there and do a trained retrieve and say, you happy now? You know, and that these people find that language harsh. You know, the word awful, I use that all the time. But I'm about to go on there and say, you're a total cunt. And see what <laughs> Oh, Dogtra blocked me too. <laughs> this guy, no, I don't think this guy blocked me. You know, and I don't blame people, you know, but I'm not going to live my life and say I just sat there knowing there was a better way and let these people rant, you know, and maybe I wouldn't dislike them so much if they didn't make it a point of saying don't use the pager because I feel like once you do that, you're just screwing these people's careers. Honestly, that's what I feel like. You're screwing, and now they're doing it in other countries. Uh, my friend Jay wants me to come to India, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show these people. Turn this thing on zero, and let me show you what you can do with this and work with that, because your skill level isn't that good. And if you said these people are quick studies and they're getting skill level with constant real fast, I'd say, well, maybe, but the only way to be doing that is making lots of mistakes along the way. Lots of mistakes. Lots of terrible, unfixable mistakes. You know? So, and I, you know, I don't think I was attacking the guy personally. Is, is saying someone can't do a train to retrieve a personal attack? Or is it just stating a fact? I showed it to Mark. He had a one-word reply for the training. I'm sure you know what it was. <laughs> you know, and then he says, well, the guy, this guy can't critique you. He's not critiquing me. He says I have bad grammar. And he's well within his rights to do that. <laughs> you know, so that's, if you know, he is hurting people. You know, and I'm willing to go on the record and say that he's hurting people and he's hurting dogs. If all you're doing is walking along every 10 feet hitting a dog with constant, that's not training a dog, and that's potentially hurting him. I challenge this guy to do a live show. Go on live with your constant. That's Crash bringing me the remote. Uh, and start hitting him with constant. 
and start putting together a video showing how the pagers freaking them out and how these young dog trainers that want, because I know how that feels. And there was a point I didn't think that, you know, I shouldn't even be here, you guys. I shouldn't even be here, everything I've been through in my life. I should not even be here. So, you know, to end up, and if you said, oh, there's all kinds of people telling this guy he can't do a train trip, there's nobody but me. So I have to tell him, there isn't anybody but me. But if you said, you're not that passionate about this, I'm beyond. It's, not, it's abnormal, you know. But if you are crippling these people's careers, I understood how that was. And when I started out, I've always used callers, and we only use constant. And I was still able to convince people to do it, you know, because I was that passionate about it. So... Then I switch the page. I'm that passionate about that, you know, but I cannot, you're crippling these dog trainers. If you think you're sending these young dog trainers out in the world to tell people this collar doesn't hurt, put it on the people, let the people try. That's awful. That's awful. Hi, Tony. Tony knows about dogs. People are not going to use something that's going to potentially have catastrophic effects. If, and if you said that's not true at all about the constant, it's nothing but true about the constant. The built-in caveat is a catastrophic method failure. And if you said, what's the built-in caveat on the pager? Uh, it could be like you've been with other human beings in your life, and they just ignore you. If you've got people that don't text you back, it's like my friend Joe Zirk. He doesn't message me back, so I understand. <laughs> you know, I have to either do something about that to make him understand, or we just can't be friends. You know, but that's, that's the worst thing that's going to happen with the pager. The dog is just going to ignore you. You know, the, the worst thing that can happen with the constant is catastrophic method failure. Why would you do that to somebody? Why would you put that on somebody? And tell them, good luck with all that. You know? And they shouldn't do it. They should not do it. And if you said, well, how do you get these dogs to be the way they are? I carefully safeguard the rule of every nuance of the relationship. And if you said you're a lot more reckless with people than you are with dogs, oh, absolutely. I do. I will. I will go after them. I will block them. I will put them out of my life in a New York minute. With dogs, I safeguard every nuance, you know. And if you said you could be a better human being, I'm sure I could, but at least I understand the nuance of safeguarding every moment of your relationship with that dog. That's what I understand. I don't understand human beings. And if you said, you know, Dog Tree said you were a loose cannon. I, oh, that's a compliment, you know. If they're actually minimizing it that much, I'm an atomic bomb. You know, when it comes to these people, and if they said, well, we vetted your background, you don't have any experience. That's the only thing I've got experience with. I can't do anything. i got to get JC down here to help me paint my house. I don't even know how to do that. I would try, but then the paint would be all over the floor, and everybody would say, why did you do that? You're awful. You know, I can't do anything else. And if that was a gift I could give you guys to help you understand it isn't just the 15 minutes you're training them. And, but if the 15 minutes you're training them involves using constant, you're are going to fail. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. So, you know, that's why. And the fact that these people, they must not watch cable. And if you said Ben and those guys at Dogtra don't watch cable, I'd say, oh, I believe that. <laughs> you know, if they can't handle, you know, if they thought that language was harsh, I would actually think I was toning it down. I can't see anything, though. Who knows what I said? I find videos. I don't even remember that I did. So I'm going out there right now to train some dogs live with the collar, and that's my challenge to get this guy. Get out there and crank out some video response, because that's what they do on YouTube. Like Kiko Pup goes after Zach George, and then she makes a response video. Oh, this is response video to Zach George. So I go out there to dance. Oh, this is response video to Sean O'Shea. He said the pager freaks him out. It doesn't freak him out. You know, I mean, that's... The nature of these things. Apparently, this Professor Georgia went after this guy. And he, they called the FBI or whatever. <laughs> you know, I don't even warrant the FBI. They only call Dogtra on me. You know. And the fact that they don't understand. But I am. I'm going to do a fear. And I'm not a petty, vindictive person at all. But when it comes to writing what's wrong, 
Then maybe I am the Rosa Parks of e-collars, I was once called. You need to fight these people. You need to tell them what you're doing is wrong, and your results are showing that. Your results are showing that. There is nothing special about me. I was not born with any superpower at all. At all. I suffered, you know, bullying, racism, everything when I was young. I was not an empowered person. I was not, and just being a female, you're not going to be empowered. There is nothing special about me other than the fact that I see that you've got to safeguard every nuance of that relationship with that dog, and you've got to fit into a square. You've got to be a square peg that fits into a square peg with a dog. Yeah, they'll shove a round peg in there if they have to, if they're forced to. But it'll never, it's like that video with Greg, that dog was in a coma. If I didn't have the pager on that dog when he said fetch, it was, you know, I hadn't seen that video in a while, but the dog, this is the dog. And that, I want you to think of that as you as a cocktail party. If you're with somebody that you just, everybody's got a way of doing that. You just go into a coma. But I want you guys to understand that. If, if what's, what the take on this is, is that I am a horrible human being. I have bad grammar. I go after people. I'm some kind of loose cannon that's overly passionate about these colors. Oh, so be it. So be it. You know, and if you said you didn't ever give this gift away, I'm ramming it down people's throats. <laughs> you know, and there is a saying, if you've got an original idea, don't worry about people stealing it. You'll be ramming it down their throat. Because it is difficult for people to understand, and I understand. It's hard for me to understand sometimes what's going on. If I look at the videos of Crash, I say the only conclusion is the dog has got to be reading my mind. What else could it be? Freaks me out. Anyway, you guys, so... Hi, Ricardo. Hi, Tony. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Chief I Kennels. Anyway, guys, but that's who I am. I'm somebody that fought these people. I'm the underdog. You know, I'm somebody that took a stand and wasn't milk toast white bread and went along and went with the program and allowed Greg. Oh, if you don't think that when Greg gave that advice to Alice of getting two callers, yeah, they don't even have a word for what I texted him. I wish I could go find it. It would. These would all be good things for a screenplay. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember what it was. I said I was going to send the lyrics to Fiddy to make a rap song out of, but that he would have to tone it down a little bit, my message to Greg. He'd have to tone it down a little bit, you know, so it would even be acceptable, you know, to give somebody the advice to get two callers and put on there and do content. You've got to. Whatever your passion is, Pursue it as much as you can. And if it's got its enemies, you fight them. You know, and if you say you don't fight other things, you want to, you, you know, yeah, I do. Say a racial slur around me in public. You're going to be verbally attacked in public by me. You know, so don't tell me I don't attack other things. I'm sure, you know, racists say I'm crazy too. Racists say I'm crazy too. I'll attack them in a New York minute. So, you know, and I mean, I'm sure there's other things I'm passionate about. I don't, you know, what they are, but this is what I told JC, my friend JC, because he, he put some ranting thing about his ex, and I do understand that. And that's why I'm not going to continue fighting with Sean O'Shea, because when it is laws of attraction, and you kind of block negative energy, and you do, I'm, you know, Crash is making me think this. I, I actually throw my thoughts at him, and it works. You know, if you're throwing negative energy out there, it is going to kind of come back at you. But, you know, you've, you've got to pursue your passion, but you can't. You do have to look. And if you said, where do you get that from, dogs? They'll pursue their passion. But if their enemies are there, they'll turn and fight them real fast and make it all go real fast. You know, these people are a detriment to this industry, these collars young dog trainers who apparently are paying these people thousands of dollars. They're paying them thousands of dollars, is what I'm being told, to ruin their career. It may take them 10 years to figure out what they're doing is wrong. You know? So, it's, it is wrong. What they're doing is wrong. Dogtra is wrong. Greg is wrong. 
I will give Sport Dog credit that they do have serious pros on their pro staff, but most of them are bird dog guys, and they're not looking to change their methods because they already work on those kind of dogs. <laughs> this is Crash bringing me this piece of paper. Um, so get out there, develop, evolve, understand. There, I don't have. I was not born with any superpower. I was born crippled. I spent half my life not understanding the world was full of predators. Honestly, I didn't even understand that. I did not mm. understand that. You know, that I was able to evolve to this point. That I can at least safeguard these relationships with the dogs. Sure, I'm a lot more reckless with people. And I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. But I don't make apologies for myself. You know, I'm not going to not attack people. I'm empowered enough now. I am the mm. American woman. And if you said women all over the country, you know, or in the mm. world have this same bullshit. I don't have a single dog trainer friend in India that's a woman. I asked somebody one time, are there any women dog trainers there? Two of them. I said, in that town? In all of India. Why? Because women there aren't empowered. And if you said there's not women in India that want to be like you and pursue their dream and be a dog, oh, the hell there's not. I understand now there's women in every country that want to train dogs and want to pursue their dream, whatever it is. Hi, Jessica. Jessica lives in the Philippines, I think. You know, there's women everywhere that aren't as empowered as me, that don't have balls big enough to go after Sean O'Shea and knock his little punk ass down with all his little groupies thinking he's doing them right because he's doing them wrong. He's doing them wrong. Anyways, I'm going to go out there and actually train. And yes, it's please, you know, make a note. I've got terrible grammar spelling. I don't have... Crash chews up all my glasses. I can't see. I want you to understand I'm typing. And yes, if you go find my college transcript, I'm pretty sure I got like a C minus in typing. I couldn't figure it out at all. <laughs> at all. Everybody else could. That was the sad part. <laughs> they were all typing away. And I was... I still do. I type with one finger. The angry type. One finger. Where's that one cat? Oh, no. That was that one cat video. It was going like that. All right, guys. I'm going to go out there and actually do some serious work. So I'll be right back.